Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I am Seven Rasta Six, and I am back with some more Let's Play Freedom Force. In the last episode, we eliminated Deja Vu, and now in this episode, we are starting out in a freaking strange room. Well, we've seen the Freedom Fortress. This is even weirder, in my opinion. And there's... Is this guy Russian? I don't know. Eh, whatever. So first of all, I w actually want to show off something uh, pretty funny. The cloning ray is an enemy. I don't know how the hell they did this, but they actually put the cloning ray as an enemy that costs you... Uh, what is it? 1,925,430 prestige. This is like, what? <laughs> it's ridiculous. It even has agility and it couldn't move. It was like, what? <laughs> this is like, you know, and he's more vulnerable to electrical damage. Uh, ground and... Uh, uh, resistant to mystical and mental. Like, resistant to hypnosis and rage panic. Mental blank increases accuracy. Uh, resistant to all forms of mystical. And then he's... You know, no dodge as well as minus two to the swiftness. Is this like, what is this? And then they have like attacks and stuff. It's hilarious. Like the first time I noticed this, this was like, what? Are you kidding me? So yeah. Alright, now let's get into the training. Uh, Diablo. I'm still here. Why am I here? Um, what do I actually want for you? Good question. Do I want Hellfire? Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm drinking a little bit. Um, no alcohol or something, just... Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna, 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 gonna... Put a point into Inferno. And level Hellfire next time. Yeah, I'm gonna do it like that. And who was the other one? Uh, Man of War, right? Yep, Man of War. So I'm gonna put another point in the Stormbolt. The reason of that will become apparent in a second. Uh... Put a few more points to pressure punch. I could get him Bermuda Triangle. Uh, this is an active defense, and this is a defense against crushing, piercing, and energy attacks. What do I want? Do what do I actually want? Do I want this, or do I want the magnetic harbor and stuff? I actually don't know. I know I want Stormbolt at five, but now I'm gonna put points into pressure punch and electric arc actually. Just cause. And that's about it, right? Yeah, I think so. No one else leveled. Oh wait, Microwave did. Didn't he? Oh no, wait, right, right, right. I was waiting to, to give him experience. Right, right, right. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, so with that, ladies and gentlemen, let us get to the mission briefing. Meanwhile, somewhere lost in time. Look at this city. Like a child's playset. The fools have no imagination. How they will worship me once I, Mr. Mechanical, build things properly. You have a lofty opinion of your talents, Mechanical. Scoff if you will. I'm only helping you for my art. Do you have what you promised? I'll have everything you requested ready. Yesterday! <laughs> Yesterday? You've a dry wit for a lunatic. I just hope you can deliver. I'll take your abuse, fool, because you serve my purpose, and one day your vulgar mouth, as well as the rest of the universe, will simply cease to exist. So says the Time Master. Mr. Mechanical? Time Master? Who are these new forbidding faces? And what do they have in store for Patriot City and Freedom Force? If only these brave heroes knew what sinister minds plotted their very destinies. Slow day. I've already done my nails and washed my hair. What's up with Tree Lady? She is gravely disturbed by the unnatural nature of Deja Vu's clones. Her connection to the natural order of things is profound and complex. Well, boo-hoo. If I recall, these were the self-same clones that were trying to turn us into Super Hamburger. The domain is certainly not going to be stopped this easily. 
We've only seen the very beginnings of their might. Ay, the domain again. Are these muchachos as scary as you say, Mentor? Diablo, I hope you never have to find out. But we were once a brave and noble race, until Lord Dominion came along. But that time is forever past. And now I, alone in exile, stand against my own people. And to think I was in a good mood a minute ago. Action stations team, the city is under attack. Destruction sequence initialized. <gasps> Giant robots! I'm going back to the barrier where it's safe. Alright, so for this mission we need to use the man bot. Which is pretty interesting, but still. Uh, so let's see for the rest of the team we have... Uh, I'm gonna take bullets. Now this is gonna be weird for some people, but... Just like using him. Man of War, once you get Y, he'll instantly just say like, Oh yeah, that's quite logical. And now, I'm kind of thinking, actually. I don't really know who I want to take. Hmm. I really have no idea, actually. I've tried a few things, and it's just like... I don't know. Hmm. I'm doubting between, like, taking Eve? And, strangely enough, Microwave. Reason for that, I mostly just want to get this guy experience, actually. Microwave's mostly because I want to get him some experience, and Eve is, well, same thing, actually. Um, these are, like, especially the ones I want. Yo, well, man, but I don't really have a choice, to be honest. Uh, you know what, I'll, I'm gonna take Microwave. It, it'll probably make it a little harder, but screw it. So, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, let us enter the fray. Destruction sequence initialized. Target Patriot City. Help! Who will save us? Exercise caution. These robots are not a product of Energy X. Hmm. These contraptions are incredibly advanced. I wonder what my brother would make of them. I suspect there is some human mind controlling them. Find their leader if you can. We'll try. All right. So first of all. Uh, I'm going to check something out really quickly, namely where the canisters are in this mission. Except for that stupid little energy canister. Um, because I don't give a crap about it. So, um, pretty simply put, we're fighting giant robots. And there's an experience canister over here where I cannot get to it. With bullet. <laughs> yeah, I care more about bullet than the rest of the team. I'm sorry, he's my favorite character. Shut up. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna get Microwave to go over there, and I'm gonna get him the experience canister. Uh, so, where, where was it? It was over here, right, okay. Gonna get him over here. Damn, I'm sure as hell there was another canister here. I thought there was a prestige canister here. Strange. Seem to be imagining things these days. Oh well, okay, so. Um, you're pretty easily going to see why I brought, uh, bullets and Man of War along. Now, actually, if you've been watching how this works, you should already kind of know it. Um, the reason for that is, you mostly take a team where the opponents have a weakness against you. Now, this, of course, as you just saw, makes Bullet a pretty strange choice. But it's actually less change, it's strange if you look at how this works. Now, these robots are, of course, the enemies. And the objective is, of course, prevent the robots from destroying 15 buildings, prevent 10 buildings from being destroyed, prevent 5 buildings from being destroyed. Now, this is a mission where I can pretty easily make sure no buildings are destroyed. Um, actually, that's, that's pretty true, actually. Now, the reason you bring Bullet along is pretty simple. He's a diversion. The moment you hit one of these robots, they're gonna come after you. Now then, you get to the interesting part. Madawar has an attack called Stormbolt, which tends to... do this.
Now also, since I gave him Flyer, first of all, he's faster. Second of all... Since he's faster... Well, you know, I'm, ta I'm talking and doing stuff together. He's faster, but at the same time, he also cannot be hit by these guys. These guys have only got a melee attack. has some extraordinary technology. He's managed to tap into our telepathic link. Perhaps Lord Dominion is somehow behind this. So that's actually pretty simply how you do this mission. You make a diversion for the robots attacking. You use Manowar to take him out. Observe my beautiful robots. The perfect marriage of form and function. Okay, somehow my game's lagging a little bit. Okay, better. Um, so you use I use Manbot as a kind of a battery for Energy X in this mission. Bullet as a diversion, and sending more robots. Destroy them. Is he getting here? He's getting here. Okay, perfect. Um, also, always go for the one who tries to attack first. Friends. Sprint. That's why I love sprints. Alright, perfect. So now these three are gonna go after bullets. Bam, stunned, perfect. Another storm bolt. So as you can see, that's actually what makes this mission pretty simple. Also, take your time. There's no rush. They're just gonna keep on going after Bullet. If you really get like in a situation, he still has a sprint attack, so don't worry about it. 59, perfect. Also, this is kind of the reason I upgraded Stormbolt. Now it deals a lot more damage to these guys. And it's just Man of War's best attack, so. And the CP transfer is really helpful. Damn. 51 more damage. Now I only need this guy to go down. In the meantime, <laughs> microwave's like really, literally just doing nothing. Just like, also this is pretty cool. Teleport self. <laughs> I'm like completely not using him. Okay, now get out of there. <laughs> just like doing this extra little bit of damage. Uh, microwave, get the experience canister. Okay, now let's get to the robots again. Okay, bullet, get over here. Man of War, over here. Man bot, over here. Microwave's pretty close, you can go. That's the one problem. God damn, all the lag. Okay, so that's the one problem that Bullet kind of has. He tends to run into cars for no apparent reason. Is he almost here or what? Stormbolt. Alright, come on, Bullet. Where are you? There. Let's start with you. Bam! Alright, now all four of them are running behind bullets. Perfect. Stormbolt. I'm sorry. This is like just the exact same thing every single freaking time. And it's so easy the moment you know how to do it. There's Manbot, by the way. Oh, there he is. Can he transfer from this range? No, he can't. Oh, he can. Okay, good enough. Like just, you know, storm bolts. Knockout! Storm bolts. Transfer. Knockout. Just keep on doing it and you're not even going. Oh! Why do you have a streetlight? 
Like, seriously, why? Just make sure bullet doesn't get hit, because you're gonna you're not gonna like that. Where's Man of War? Oh here he is, transfer. Alright, Stormbolt. Damn, 40 damage. Stormbolt. Alright, 24. Microwave still not doing shit. <laughs> Now it's like, why did you bring him along again? I don't know. For this mission, I literally do not know. It's either him or even. Why are why are you so obsessed with that pole? Seriously. There is nothing interesting about a street light. Seriously. We have a new love relationship here. Dang, bullet in the street light. Why do you keep on Damn. You're not getting a lot of energy back, are you? Yeah, primary objective completed. GG, boy. That was easy. You destroyed my creations! No matter, I can make more! The only things you'll be making are license plates in Central Prison. For that insult, I will destroy the most ostentatious eyesore in this city! The Bunker Hill Plaza! Wait, Mechanical. If it comes down, there's no telling what destruction it will cause. I'll have the building evacuated. We must stop Mechanical or deal with the consequences. So yeah, that was the mission, or the first part of the mission, Robots on the Rampage. So, now he's going after the Bunker Hill Plaza. This should be fun. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you for the next episode of Let's Play Freedom Force, uh, where we'll hopefully stop Mr. Mechanical. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been 7 Draws to 6. Until next time.